In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a color block with a highlighter. Currently, if you use a highlighter and you just draw a line, you're going to have these rounded edges or these rounded ends, right? So that's what we're looking at is this rounded edge. And there is a subtle difference if you want to use this on a smaller scale, but you can get a more boxy type highlighter. It still has rounded corners, but it's a little more boxy than this completely rounded end of the highlighter itself. So let's go ahead and make a box. Now if you draw and hold and you just miss it by a little bit, oh I did it correctly that time, I'm going to show you what might happen. If you don't connect the corners, then you might get a shape that is not going to work for this. So you do need to make sure that you connect the corners. And then if you tap on it with your finger, you'll get a perfect rectangular box. OK, so what we're going to do is because this is going to be a horizontal element, we're going to touch just in the middle like that. And then we're going to lasso it and resize it until it is as tall as we want it to be. So I want to get it about right there. And then you tap the highlighter and once again, you can stretch it out. Now there is one little tricky thing that happens in good notes. Whenever you resize something, it does tilt a little bit. So I want to get it perfectly straight. So I'm going to re-tilt it. That is how you make a highlighter box. Now, you can also use this highlighter box to block off parts of your schedule to use a color blocking. Now, one annoying thing is you'll never be able to get rid of these rounded corners, but it, it's not a perfect solution, but it is an option for you. So I'm going to copy the box that we've already made and I'm going to paste it here. And then I'm going to lasso it and resize it. And I'm going to just go ahead and turn it vertically. And it actually doesn't need to be that long because we're going to resize it again here in a minute. Then I'm going to tap it with the highlighter and open it up some, make it bigger and shorter. And I'm going to resize it until I get it to the width that I want it. Which is going to be about right there. I'm going to tap on highlighter again and adjust that box until it surrounds only the area that I want to color code. And again, it did tilt a little bit, so I want to get that perfectly straight. I'm just lining it up with my dots, and that's pretty good. So then I'm going to Make sure it's adjusted properly here. And then all I have to do is copy and paste and use that over and over again. And it's very easy to change the color and it's very easy to change the height. So let's go ahead and do that for all these sections. I'm gonna tap the highlighter again and tap the element and adjust it to where I want it, the height. OK, and then I can come back in and lasso it with only the handwriting option selected in the lasso tool. Hit color and change it to any color I want. And there you go. That's how you color block using a highlighter. Just use that resize tool and then you can easily adjust it. Hope you found this helpful. Enjoy. Hello everyone, I'm Brooke and I make digital planners and notebooks. You can find my online shop at brookbot.com. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a big old thumbs up by tapping that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that I can bring you more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching. 
I'll see you next time.